Good morning, class. Today we are working on Reader's Notebook Lesson 24, pages 345 and 346. We are comparing today with adverbs on page 345, and page 346 we are working again on writing titles. You can compare the way that actions are done. To compare two actions, form a comparative adverb by using the word more before an adverb ending in ly. Compare three or more actions for, to form a superlative adverb by using the word most. An example of a comparative adverb would be Karina's calf ran more gracefully than she had run yesterday. And an example of a superlative adverb would be Maddie's horse ran the most gracefully of all the horses on the field. And you can see that the difference there is, is when we're talking about Karina's calf, we're comparing two things, that run and the run from yesterday. So it's just comparative adverb. And in the second one, Maddie's horse, we're comparing Maddie's horse to multiple horses on the field, more than two. So that becomes a superlative adverb. In our practice today, numbers one through four, circle the adverb in each sentence. Write C on the line if it is a comparative adverb, that means two things are being compared. Write S if it is a superlative adverb, meaning comparing more than two things. Number one, people traveled more carefully along the trails than they did on the flat prairies. Well, the comparative adverb here is more carefully, and it's comparative because we are comparing two things right? Not more than two. We're comparing the trails, okay, that they were traveling that day than they did on the flat prairies. So we're going to write comparative or C on the line. Number two, pioneers looked for water most eagerly when they were near a desert. Comparing being near the desert to every other place they've been. So most eagerly, and your key there too is the word most. You can see that most is one that goes with a superlative adjective. So you're going to write an S on the line. You can go ahead and complete three and four the same way on your own. In numbers five through eight, it says write the correct form of the adverb in parentheses. And we want the superlative form of happy for number five. Children played blank when they felt safe. And we know superlative, we want to be adding in the word most as we learned above. So children played most happily when they felt safe. Number six, we are using a comparative adverb for restfully. The adult slept blank in a cabin. And comparative, we use more from our words up above or our lesson from up above. So we need to add in more. So the adults slept more restfully in a cabin. And you can go ahead and complete numbers seven and eight on your own. Just remembering that you can look above to see that superlative, you're adding the word most. And comparative, you're adding the word more. We are going to talk again about writing titles. We've done this a couple of times throughout the school year. And numbers one through six, it says identify the titles in the following example by and indicate what kind of treatment they require. And what we have for number one, it says, when I was a child, my favorite TV show was Prairie Days. And if you remember from previous lessons, when we have the title of a TV show, we put quotations around it. And you're not going to need to rewrite these, but I'd like you to add in what needs to be in there. So Prairie Days needs to be in quotations. Remember short works like magazine titles and TV shows are going in poetry are going to be in quotations. Number two, the author wrote a book, so this is a longer work, about the state's early settlers called Hardy Folk. And for our purposes, when we have a book title or a movie title, we are underlining that to indicate that it is a title. Remember that sometimes you'll also see things like that in italics, but we can't really do that um, with our pitted paper. So shorter pieces like poetry, TV shows, we're going to, or articles on the internet, we're going to be quote, putting quotations around. And things like books or movies, we are underlining. Longer pieces are underlined. Numbers three through six, you can go ahead and complete on your own. And number seven through 12, it says, provide the proper capitalization of the sample titles given. So these are titles of books 
or magazines or articles or movies. And you need to remember what needs to be capitalized. Every single time you have a title, the first word is capitalized, no matter if it is a long or short word. So the first letter is always going to be capitalized. For example, number seven, my life in the wilderness. The word my is the first word, so my has to be capitalized. So capital M-Y. Now we have the word life, okay? Any word that is more than three letters, or if it's a name or a proper noun, obviously, then it's capitalized. But my life is going to be capitalized. So life is going to be capitalized. It's a word that is more than three letters. In, okay, is not an important word, so it is not going to be capitalized. It's two letters, and it's not an important word. And the is not going to be capitalized. It's also not an important word or more than three or a capital or a proper noun, excuse me. And then we have the word wilderness, which is an important word and longer than three letters. So it needs to be capitalized. So my life in the wilderness and my is capitalized, life is capitalized, in and the are not, and wilderness is. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and look at number eight. It says the life and times of a mountain man. Well, the is not an important word. However, remember, it's the first word in the title, so it must be capitalized. So the, capital T, and then life. We know life is going to be capitalized. And, that's three letters and it's not an important word. And times, times is going to be capitalized. And then we have the word of, which is only two letters and not important, and a, uh, which is one letter and not important. And then we have the word mountain, so that needs to be capitalized. And then we have the word man. Well, that's only three letters, but it is an important word because it's a, it's a pronoun for a person. So it's going to be man is going to be capitalized. So the life and times of a mountain man. Again, remembering that the first word always has to be capitalized in a title, and words such as the, in, of, and, to, those do not need to be capitalized. Now, as you get to work, remember pronouns we are capitalizing, so you can see we have words like you, they, them, those, she, he, those are capitalized words. And the first word, again, is always capitalized. You can go ahead now and work on numbers 9, 10, 11, and 12 on your own. When you have finished with pages 345 and 346, please take a picture, attach it to your assignment, upload, and turn it in on Teams. Thanks.